Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in yellow and we are learning to describe and identify, identify features of a hyperbole. So a, a hyperbole is a new type of graph we're looking at. And we've got an example on the right. It is curved and there are two parts to it. And today's video, we're gonna run through the features of hyperbole. And then in our next video, we'll learn about how do we come up with the equation of a hyperbole. So the first feature we could look at is whether or not it's a positive or a negative hyperbole. So this is similar to parabolas and cubics. They can be positive, they can be negative, and hyperboles can be the same. So just drawing a little picture if your hyperbole is in the top right and bottom left like we have here that is, is an example of a positive cubic and let me change pen colors for this and if it's been flipped around if it's top left and bottom right that is an example of a negative hyperbole so that one's relatively straightforward to identify, but it is something we do need to memorize and understand as well. So, so we've done that one. Let's use the white pen, the second one, and arguably the most important feature is something new to us, something called asymptotes. And I've written that there so we can get the spelling right. Asymptotes. And Asymptotes are lines where the graphs will never ever touch. And each cubic will, sorry, each hyperbole will have two asymptotes. So the first asymptote will be the vertical asymptote. And this is normally in the form x equals. So the vertical one, we can see down here, that line there. Both graphs never touch that line. So in theory, there will be there will never be a value for that negative 2 there. So the top half of the graph up there, that gets closer and closer and closer to the line as we get higher, but it never touches or crosses that line. And down the bottom, that line gets closer and closer and closer as we get more negative. But again, it never touches that line. And that's an interesting feature. So the way to describe that vertical asymptote would be x is equal to negative 2. And that's because of that. So it, it crosses the x-axis at negative 2. All right. That's the first example. The other one is, in addition to vertical axes, there's also going to be a horizontal asymptote. And that is the one in the other direction. So again, the bottom graph, that never ever touches that line. It does get closer and closer the more you go negative. But it never touches or crosses that line. And then again, on the right-hand side, it keeps it going more and more positive. But that line will never touch or cross that line. So that is something called the vertical, or sorry, the horizontal asymptote and we'll describe that as y is equal to negative 1 because it is at negative 1 on the y-axis. Okay and the third feature this relates to the asymptote feature and it's the points oh, sorry not point I suppose point of interception of asymptotes and we can normally see that by looking at our graph and we can see they intercept there at negative 2 negative 1 so that coordinate negative 2 comma negative 1 that would be the point of interception of our two asymptotes and finally, the final feature 
is the stretch. of the hyperbole. Just like parabolas can be skinny or fat, hyperboles can be stretched or condensed as well. So the number on the top, so at the moment we have one there, and that's a regular hyperbole, but if that number is greater than one or stretched, what happens is it kind of takes a bit of a shortcut, and it looks a bit like that. If it is less than one and it is condensed, it does the opposite, it becomes more square and there's less shortcuts. So that idea of stretch or the, the A value is another feature of your hyperboles that you could or might be needed to discuss. So hopefully you found this video useful. The key thing we are trying to get across is the idea of asymptotes for hyperbole, very important, and those asymptotes have a very strong link to the equation, which we'll be able to determine looking at our next video. So hopefully you found this useful. See you later, guys.